welcome back to the Bitter Betty podcast. I am Bitter Betty Deadhead here with my two cohorts. Bitter Betty Tova. And Bitter Betty Carol, and that's with an E. And I'm going to let Tova introduce what we're doing today. All right, guys. Uh, the original concept or the, the the infancy of our podcast was actually centered around more of Tom's music. We were going to call it the Hogcast podcast. And we wanted to kind of talk about music from the perspective of people who really love it and who understand it, have stories to go with it. We've been with Tom for a long time now, and we feel like we have something more to offer than general reaction. So this is going to be a, we're going to be revisiting our re initial idea and we're going to create a review. Like I do some reaction reviews on my channel. This is going to be a reaction review uh, from the point of people who have heard the song several times. And some of them even have stories to go along with it, but we wanted to start where, where Tom's journey really started at way back at what I would consider the beginning of his transition from the music he was making into the music we know now. And so this song is Hangman. And this was from March of 2017. Dear Rappers was released in August of 2017. So a handful of months separate these two songs. But I think if you really pay attention to lyrics, you will see that this was the turning point for him. He had just went through a mental breakdown in 2016 and he ended up kind of getting over that a little bit well enough to come to the United States and was going to make music with Nova and they ended up falling in love and they had been together for a period of a short period of time before he came out with this song. So for me, this is where I think his journey actually begins before his viral song came out. So what do you ladies think? I'm ready to go down it. I'm ready to do this. I me know. too. To Any reason to listen to Tom music is good. Yes. Yeah. And talk about Tom. Yep. And we know a lot about Tom because we are definitely hangover. <laughs> we are H-O-G, H-O-G. You know, I don't ever wear nothing but H-O-G. Well, you got a Ren hat now, so. I do. I have it coming. It's It should be in the mail soon. I got a little beanie. Yep. With All a right, little angel, freckled angel wings on it. Y'all ready? Yep. Now we're ready. Here we go. This is a warning for the ones who say they aren't afraid. Lately I've been coming from a darker place I've been dealing with depression, I'm more dangerous than ever I've been drinking again and never felt better I swear to God that I'm a burner bridge and piss on the flames Mix the ash with some whiskey and spit it all in their face My new girl probably flip if you got something to say She reminds me of myself when I would drink every day I used to feel like how I felt was just a temporary phase But now I feel like the feelings are fucking feeding our fame And I don't plan to slow down and give it a second to breathe I push the pedal past the breaking point, I'm picking up speed in 2016, swear I came apart at the seams I was scared of the dark and therefore afraid of my dreams But I rebuilt what came apart with iron alloy and beams Come fly a plane into my legs and I won't fall to my knees Haven't taken any pills to calm me down for right, a month I'm on the edge and I'm waiting for any So there he was talking about, you know, him and Nova got together And then in 2016 he was coming apart at the seams like, And then he was able to rebuild it and I feel like this was his path. Like he was realizing, I think his true potential in this song. I think it's a definitely an underrated song. It's one of my favorites, especially because I love songs with no hooks. Yeah. Like they're just bars and Tom does that so freaking well. Yeah. But uh, I just, it's like listening to a story, you know, it's like yeah. a, a page out of his diary. Yeah. Is what it feels like. Yes. Because it's yeah. Tom's story. Yes, absolutely. It, Cause it's a real true story. Yeah. I love it. All right. Any reason to jump, don't take it lightly. I'm excited when they throw in the punch. I got a list of different strategies to bury these bumps. Very rarely do I carry out a weight of a grudge, but I've been barely ordinary since the prairies and drugs. My imaginary friends and camouflage with some guns, and I've been fairly military, but my army is one. They've been passive aggressive with how they deal with my message. They lack the passion and reckless nature of truthful expression. They ain't made of what I'm made from. They've been bruised up and dented. They don't understand the underhanded, ruthless obsession that I was born with. Slam like the door sticks. Closet full of skeletons so heavy couldn't move them with a forklift. Your bitch probably fell in love because you forced it. Now she bumped my records while you deep inside a porn binge. I woke up with a buzzing in my head. I don't want to leave the comfort of my bed. A dozen missed calls from a dozen of my friends. And my day just started, but it's coming to an end. Already getting dark. Wake up with the stars. I don't even know how I got home after I left the bar. Yeah, I did eight months 
sober and I hate that it's over But the weight on my shoulders started breaking my heart I started out with one or two and then I moved to three or four And then I realized that I was back where I had been before Out of vans gone missing from the bottle Tell my doctor they were stolen but I know that they were swallowed Everything I ever did was always done with open throttles All the way or nothing, non-commitment is a broken promise And I know that that's a problem in itself But you're living or you're dying or you're crying out for help Yeah, it's been a week since I felt like me I've been starving but I just can't eat I'm exhausted but I can't find sleep It's been harder than it's ever been The darkness hasn't ever dimmed, the light's so bleak I never understood what they meant when they said that they were just the shadows of men that they had been before they were beat Now I know that everything I heard was for real when I'm looking in the mirror at a shell of myself I think that stress is a contributing factor to being 28 and feeling older than dad does The wrinkles on my face spreading faster and faster If the good die young I hope I'm one of the bad ones The days long stay strong and try again tomorrow though Even if you're running out of reasons to ignore the phone Even if you're running out of gas go and borrow more Your demons knock the hardest when you finally chose to close the door This is not the way my parents raised me I love that line. I hope they realize that it didn't fail one of their babies This is the result of a declining social climate That's original design was keeping people trapped inside it Liquor and violence, we suffer in silence Until we embrace one another And find our collective defiance will topple the giants I just try to smile through the crying Cause I know that someone somewhere is feeling way worse than I am And that's true That's true Yeah, I, I freaking, I love that song. And uh, I mean, I don't know if I actually brought any more perspective to it, but I, I fucking love that song. That's my jam. That's one of my jams. It's one of several of my jams. Well, I can't uh, pick a favorite. I have a hard time. I know. There's there's just no favorites, but it's just, it's up there with like, it's just something I relate to in the sense where, you know, I, I found myself at one time in, in my version of Rock Bottom. And it's really hard to come out of that sometimes, you know what I mean? And mm -hmm. to, but, you know, it's like, I love the image of him taking the noose off around his neck, uh, you know, at the end, like he felt like he was going to die. He almost gave up, but he didn't. Right. Like, I don't know. I just love, that's such a cool. You know, what I like too about revisiting this and the fact that we're doing it in like a chronological order is mm -hmm. to, for one watch growth when when i yeah. say that not even <clears throat> not just like with rapping abilities but literally just tom's growth like as a person yeah. you know um i think is what's going to be wonderful about doing these reviews um right then <clears throat> kind of going from there like here you can definitely see like to me like you can tell tom is has has not started taking care of himself the way he does now right right like, just even like body image he was very thin um yeah so you can tell he's like a healthier version um he's a stronger version. he's a stronger version yes. <laughs> well and that's just you know uh, yes. to add to your point like to see this song and to think that a handful of years later uh you know he's writing stronger version yeah yes and that, like to see the difference he said you know um you know, looking in a mirror at a shell of myself, like, you yes. know, it's been harder than it's ever been. The dark's so bleak. Uh, like, there's no light at the end of the tunnel all the way to being a stronger version of himself. I think that's so cool. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I just think that, um, I think that we're going to really enjoy this journey. I hope that mm -hmm. HOG stops by and they'll enjoy the journey. Um, yeah. Even if they have anything extra to add, they want to add well to the bottom. We yeah, really, we really hope to be able to maybe even bring some light that maybe you never really even thought of before. You yeah, know, when it comes to Tom, maybe you you've listened to it and didn't catch it, or yeah. maybe we can even bring some people into HOG. Yeah. Because, oh yeah, right, absolutely. There's so much. You know, there. Tom's not just about his music. There's so much there. He's many layers. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, and I, I love that, uh, that hopefully we can, well, you know, we have like fun merch from different videos and, uh, just different stories. And, uh, there's, I, there's parts of interviews that go with like stories for songs. And like, I just feel like we could definitely provide people with a different look into Tom's music yeah. that maybe are and more I, of a casual listener than a, I kind of would like a to bring member. that one interview with Ben Shapiro, where the, the latest song kind of came from like 
why you mm-hmm. know why they decided to do this you know oh yeah in a way because mm-hmm. yeah that's an interesting one yeah. there's or great stories H-O-G- on the Toby podcast as well um if hog's you know in in the house and you guys have anything extra you want to add that maybe we didn't cover um you know please leave a comment below you know absolutely um love to have yeah. a conversation if there's anything or if you are new to Tom McDonald in general or aren't that deep into Tom McDonald and you have a generalized question that you'd like to ask or something you might want to know, drop that down in the comment section. We might know your answer. And so, like yeah. Brain Squeeze always says, the comments for love, not hate. Yeah. <laughs> Haters yeah. go fuck oneself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. It, hated hatred of any kind of comments will, will be deleted. Like it's not gonna be tolerated. Yeah. Uh, no, it won't be deleted, but thank you for triggering our algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> and we will pin your comment and let everybody else go at you. Yeah. It'll be a yeah. full on row section. <laughs> yeah. You know? But no, um we're gonna put your ass in the Instapot. <laughs> she said in the Instapot. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's uh I can't wait. I, I honestly can't. So um, I think this is going to be a, a, a fun little journey for us to go down. Plus it gives us like the insight with each other to just literally watch the, these songs together. Like we yeah. all know, we know them, right. Yeah. But we yeah. don't sit and watch them together. So like, just like with a regular, like just a- actual raw reaction, right. That we might do like, it's fun to, to be part of that with you ladies. So, mm-hmm. and because yeah, that's definitely. how we all met was through HOG. That's how mm-hmm. the three of us came together in the first place. So um, it's because of Tom and we are like the best of friends, you know, yeah. and yeah, the, I love and these ladies very thank much you, Tom, for allowing us yeah. to meet. Cause yes. I don't know. If we yeah. Have. Thanks Tom. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you're all right, I guess. Yeah. Okay. You're, the, you're the homie. You're the homie. <laughs> um, He's the homie. I'm but, just kidding. Uh, I love you, Tom. You're the bro. But, yeah. So it, it's, I think it's great. And I think that we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. Um, so, but for me, that's all for tonight. Yeah, yeah. me too. Peace. Peace out, guys. H-O-G. 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 H-O-G.